Now, one of my favorite tools inside of Excel, it's actually not inside of the uh, Data tab at all. It's actually all the way back over at the Home tab. And it's known as conditional formatting. You see, the entire point of conditional formatting is it starts to take all of this data we give, and it's one of our uh, first ways of doing uh, digital data visualization. Yeah, I can make charts, I can do all that stuff, but data visualization, maybe I just want a quick, just dirty little highlighting that says, yeah, this is one of my top sales. Yeah, I know it's a top sale because I sorted it, but notice how many kind of sales reps, sales I have going on here. Again, we're dealing with only a hundred sales. What happens when it turns into a thousand or ten thousand sales? So I want to just see, say, my top ten sales. The first thing I want to do is I want to click on this D column. That's going to highlight all my different sales, and that actually kind of trails even beyond this. So if I add in more sales over time, and I can see where they are. So all of a sudden, again, I am in my home tab. I go to the conditional formatting section. Now, personally speaking, never use these. I know there's probably someone who would argue differently, but personally speaking, you know, that's, eh, eh, eh. I, I think it, it's trying to do too much. Really, when I'm looking to do some data visualization, I'm just looking to do some highlighting. Uh, either I want to highlight my cell rules where they're greater than a certain number, or I want to go to my top bottom rules where I want to see, say for example, that something is better than the average, or in my case, I want to see the top 10 items. Now you see I already am getting a little highlighting there, but obviously we're talking about the best. I want to see the best. Uh, so I don't really want to think about it in a red sense. You know, red is bad, green is good. So I want to go and maybe make that green happen. Ah, look, pleasant. Well, since I have a hundred, and this could scale, maybe I want to increase that a little bit. I can start to see I can up it to, say, 15, or I can drop it down. I want to be very, you know, strict with what I find. Five. I'll, I'll keep it at a 10. And when I hit OK, now all of a sudden you can see I can come in and I can look at all this information and at least these things are starting to stand out a little bit more. Say, for example, Michael S uh, Smith has the best, uh, some of the top 10 sales. Even though they weren't the most, that's going to Rachel and Peter over here. Even Jeanette he's consistently been having high good sales. Well, one of the things we can also do is we can take this and we can actually add more conditionals to it. So I can come in again, go to the conditionals, go to that top bottom. This time I also want to look at the bottom 10. Now this one is going to be bad, so I am going to keep it as red. Arr. And when I hit OK, you can see Rachel's been in the category, Peter's been in there twice, so Peter's you know, got to step up his game a little bit. Uh, David David, on the other hand, really needs to step up his game. Uh, Brad's doing pretty pretty harsh. But all right, Jeanette, not too terrible. Two tops, two bottoms. Uh, Garrett, doing nicely. Uh, Michael, Michael's, again, pretty much on top of things. So uh, good job, Michael. 